Welcome to Ask a Black Man, where we get real answers from real men. In this bonus clip of Ask a Black Man, the fellas of the Manhood episode get into a heated debate about street harassment. If a young lady is walking down the street and she's going to the bank or to the laundromat, wherever, that's where she's going. She's not doing it for you. And if she looks good, she looks good because she's a good looking girl. And yeah, women like to look good for us, but they also like to look good for themselves. It does not, she should be her own autonomous person. She does, just her existing and walking down the street doesn't give you the right to holler at her, to talk to her or nothing. These guys are going back and forth and they say, well, how do you meet women? I said, well, fellas, you know, I meet women the way I meet human beings. I meet them in social places, maybe at church or on campus or at work or at a house party, but I never made a friend by yelling at them in the streets. Yo, you know, the, what's funny about this is I do know a couple of guy friends who've met their wives by hollering at them on the street. So it's, it's not so much, it's, it's a weird phenomenon where a guy's going to speak to a woman on the street, but it's just that the way, again, the way, the way men are culturalized, right? is we feel that it's our job, our duty, or just compelled that they're there for us to holler at, that that one or two holler, ration, you know, that each guy <laughs> thinks is just him, is like it's every, every it's guy everybody. hollering everybody. at it. And, and, yeah. and, and to, so, you know, seeing it's, these kind of things or, you know, understanding years ago that my wife might experience this on the, on the street and this kind of blew my mind, you know, the things that we're not aware of yeah. in terms of everything being focused through the male lens. That male well, gaze. One, yeah. one, dynamic, one dynamic I'd like you to think about is that women spend hundreds of dollars to look really good. Yeah, they do. And I have a problem that when you look really good, you have a problem with people Compliment. approaching, complimenting, yes, approaching, yeah. or coming to you because you look really good. And as a hunter, I'm gonna hunt. Where you at, I'm coming. It doesn't that, matter. But like, if, if, if I am interested, right. the if I am, it's a positive it's a type of approach. I, that's the key. The what approach. The and, approach. So and where the person going? is at, because I don't wanna put it in the box. Wherever the person is at, that's the approach. And I think that's to the benefit of the woman. Be and, what do you mean? And some males, some of us, get hollered at too. Mm -hmm. sure. So based on the approach, that tells me generally your social background, your educational background, your financial background. Mm -hmm. Generally, mm -hmm. I can put you in a box and say, no, I'm not interested. You're not my type when I was single. Let's say that part. So. <laughs> You understand that. So I think that there shouldn't be a rule or a box or if you don't want to be hollered at, put yourself in a position where your body language mm. or yeah. your image see, yeah. is not see, uh, that's that's that, that, Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, that doesn't that's work. So now I'm in a party, right? I'm the only one dressed like this, right? Everybody else is dressed in um, hoodies and sweatpants and stuff like that. You know, the probability is lower because the type of women that are in there, they're not looking for my type. Well, you know, that's different. You had a party. A party is where you're supposed okay. to be hollering people. That's not absolute, bro. But back to his point. Nothing but back to, I say is absolute. But back, but back to his point. My wife's gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. It takes her two, two and a half hours to get dressed every day. You know, she wears tight clothes. She wears tight clothes because it makes her feel good. She's like very feminine. She's like, I like to feel feminine. Tight clothes feel like a hug on me. This is how I like to look. I like to look beautiful for me and I like to look beautiful for you. Nobody else. That's what she does it for. She does it for herself first and for me second, not for Amen. any other nigga in the street. Right. So when she's walking down the street and she flashes that ring, she says she's married and you leave her alone. Now my wife literally, she happen. can't, that, no, it's not gonna happen. No, it's, it's gonna and it's messing right. and, and it bothers me, y'all. So my wife, she can't that even leave. You? She can't even leave the house. Yeah, yeah it bothers me that people oh, don't respect man. the fact That's that she compliment. No, don't don't compliment my wife. If she tell you she married, she tell you she married, she not she's not there for you. No, no talk. It's not for your gaze. Every woman is not for all of us. Now she's not you for you. You know what I mean? She's not for you. She's for me and she's for herself. So you're so, saying you know, so wait, 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 wait. So let me finish what will tell you. Let me finish what tell you happens. So when so literally she can't walk down the street by herself. Literally, 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 she literally can't she literally can't walk down the street by herself. There's been times that I've been on the phone with her. I've been on FaceTime having niggas get in her camera. People touching her. She was in the airport. Yo, she has she has her sleep. Touched her. Too much touched her. Into this, no, I have to put this energy into because it's my wife and it's her safety and it's about and it's, it's about violence. There have been times there have been there have been times men followed my wife down the street. This there was times she was crazy, waiting for man. the bus and she had to get on the phone with me because there were guys <laughs> sitting across from her and you laughing but this shit scares her. No. As, a, as a woman, as as a wife, was my wife who was a woman who has been sexually abused and have been doing these things. These and, and and let me tell you, Can ninety. And I'm gonna tell you so. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Eighty seven. I'm gonna say about eighty. 5% of the black women I know have experienced some type of sexual violence or some type of something dealing with men. These things give them anxiety. It makes them afraid. My yes. She literally is afraid. That shit is not cool. But Just because, about, and the thing about, is, is that white niggas act like they ain't never seen a
a good looking girl before. No, no, no. Like, let him jump on it. Let him jump on it. Can I just say this one thing? Can I just say this one thing? What's wrong with that being a benefit of being so Beautiful. But it doesn't benefit her. She's telling she's, she's telling them it badly. makes me uncomfortable. She's, scared. she's saying it okay. scares me. It makes me uncomfortable. Stop talking to me. She tells these guys mm. I'm married. You can't be married. You look too young. Why are you out here by yourself? No, nigga. She don't want no conversation. It scares her. So it's not. It's, so it doesn't feel. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like she doesn't need any other man to validate that she's beautiful. Let, let, let I tell her that. Let she let tell, that's all she needs. Let me say something that's strange. I, and I, I don't. I don't have a reason for it yet. A long time ago, when I met my wife, and I used to get a little ticked off if you know, guys pulled in the car and they're like, dang, look at those legs. And I'm walking with her, you know, that, that made me kind of, my blood boil. And I got to the point where I was like, let me turn that around because I can't let this freak me out my whole <laughs> yeah. life, right? I, no, I'm not gonna be well. insecure about this, That's true. right? Insecure. That will destroy everything. Absolutely. So I said, you know, I started, they do look good, don't they, bruh? Yes. You know what I mean? So, so you gotta change they it up like that. You. But, right? how did, but, but how does she let, feel about so that? Me, so let me change That's it up. It's a so, so here's what happens. But how does she feel? No, no, this is important. Now. She carries herself a certain way in the street. She does get hollered at, right? But this is interesting. I've asked her, and I've asked, I have sisters. I had also a group with a lot of women, and I have a lot of girlfriends who I've asked. Some women, and this is bizarre, some women get hollered in the street all the time in kind of a foul way. Oh, yeah. Not sure why. Particularly black women. All right? My wife gets hollered at in the street, but it's always, hey, sister. Wow, you look beautiful. Let me just compliment totally you. Totally understood. There's, there's something, you know, and I said, babe, no dude is hollering body at you, language. like, disrespectful. It's a body no, language. Right on point. I got right another, you know, point. and I have some who don't get hollered at all. That's right. And they're like, I What's can't even with get it. Right. <laughs> so there's something in the way, and I, and I think it's foul, right? And I, it, because, some, well, not foul. There's something wrong because as much as we want to say, well, it's, did you have a little cleavage? Did you have the tight clothes? What did you wear? Yeah, and and, and yeah, how did you carry? You know, because I don't want to. When, when my white friends can walk out in the street with jeans and t-shirt, I hate the fact that I got to do this every day. Exactly. Uh, not right. have a run-in with a cop. I'll do it. Exactly. I'll do it. But I'd love to just put on some jeans and sneakers one day and look just cash and not people, you know, Judging. investigate my clothing at a store when I'm just trying to shop, you know, mm -hmm. and think I'm walking away with something. So I don't think that it's fair for us to always be putting that on women just because they have their breasts bubbling out a little bit, right? Well, when you were talking, this is what I was thinking. Pit bulls, right? Mm. You show fear, they're going to dominate you. Mm. You show that you are irrelevant, they won't even look mm. at you. They'll growl mm. and you look at them like, and that's it. Same with some men who are dogs. Mm -hmm. Why am I pointing at myself? <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> if the man body like, it's, it's like. Right, I can get an in. Right? And she throws the look, he going to sit down. He knows. It, it's, it's a language. But, the thing, but it's it gets, a language. I think what it gets down to is really just gets down to how she feels. And as men, I think what we have to prioritize. We can do a better job. We as have men, to prioritize a woman's feelings. We should like, be more respectful. Like, and it's like, we listen, can be more respectful. yeah, we. And, 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 and I, 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 I got a ring, and that has not stopped. I'm saying, listen, and, and, and listen, women have tried to talk to me, and it's not like I've never seen a beautiful woman say, yo, sis, you look great. Like, I've done that before, and you're right. I think it's a multifaceted thing, and it's about approach. It's about the type of man, all of these things, but we can't keep going back to this face. Well, it's a compliment. It's a compliment. We are saying it's a compliment. No, it's, it's, we well, are it's, saying it's a compliment. Like, and it's ways. up to every individual. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's up to, if, if my it's wife or somebody's girl or whomever is saying, these things really don't make me, they make me uncomfortable. And then, then you have to respect that. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to give a woman a compliment, but it's an, but it's it turns into a thing when that's happening every five feet. It turns into harassment. And they deal with this every. You day. you may not be harassing right. her, but if she ran into all but of us in a block, right. now she's harassed. And, and we every have woman to, deals with this every day. We have to be cognizant day. of that. It's, it's insane. We have to be cognizant. Man, and men got to change this. Yeah, right? exactly. It's and, our and by the way, and, 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 and I'll say this, young black men, if we want police and law enforcement to change how they approach us doing their job or whatever it is with their stop and frisk or whatever else it is, then I think there's some ways that we can probably change how we, how we approach others as, as well. Next time on Ask a Black Man. To me, dating is different than being in a relationship with somebody. Mm -hmm. So if I'm dating and I'm kind of out here just, I even tell my homegirls, as long as you ain't exchanging bodily fluids, you could be dating as many dudes as you want. Thank you for watching this episode of Ask a Black Man. For a candid discussion on street harassment, please subscribe to Madame Noir's YouTube channel.